Hi there Sportage owners. Today in your 2020 Kia Sportage, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Kurt's Class 2 one and a quarter inch trailer hitch receiver. The cross tube is going to be completely hidden behind the bumper, so you're only going to see the receiver tube here at the back. And it's tucked up pretty well underneath of it, so it's not going to detract from the looks of the vehicle too much. It's a one and a quarter by one and a quarter Class 2 receiver, so it's going to be great for cargo carriers, bike racks, and extremely light towing. It uses a half inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. It features plate style safety chain loops with a moderately sized opening that should accommodate most safety chains. It features a 350 pound tongue weight, which is the force going down on top of the receiver. And that's gonna be plenty for a bike rack with two bikes on it. You can even fit three and potentially four bikes on it depending on the weight of your bikes. It also features a 3,500 pound gross towing capacity, which is how much you can pull behind it. And that would be fine for like a very small trailer, whether it be like a little utility trailer for hauling some trash cans around, or maybe even like a small jet ski or dirt bike trailer. And now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about five inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. And from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 13 inches. And this is important when determining if you need to drop, rise, or raise shank on any of your accessories. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's go over the installation together so you can have the confidence to do it at home. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle, and we're going to remove the appearance panels on both the driver and passenger side. These are the small panels located just here off to the side of our muffler. There's going to be two pins on the bottom on each panel. To remove the pins from the panel, you just use a flat bladed screwdriver or a trim panel tool to pop out the center, and then you can just pull the pin out. On our passenger side here, once we've got both the bottom pins removed, there's one more pin located here in the back side, and it removes exactly the same. We can then take our panel and just pull it down. It just releases off the nuts to put it up top by pulling it down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. The nuts are designed to pull off the studs here, but sometimes they ended up staying behind. If that's the case, you can just throw them off by hand because they're not on there very tight since they're designed to just pull on and push off. They'll just poke back in your panel after you remove them from the car if they did stay behind. We're now gonna lower down our exhaust, but before you do that, you're gonna to wanna to put a strap in place to catch the exhaust to prevent it from falling down too far, which could potentially damage it. You have three hangers holding your exhaust up. There's one on each side of the muffler, and there's gonna be one forward towards front of the vehicle in the center. To remove those, we're gonna spray some silicone lubricant on it to make it easier to get them off. And then we just simply pry the hanger off. And we're gonna do that for the other side as well as the one in the center. We can then just gently loosen up our strap to give ourselves some extra clearance. We'll now prepare all of our hardware, take the bolts that come in your kit, place a conical tooth washer on it with the teeth facing away from the head of the bolt. Do this for each of your bolts. We'll now lift our hitch into position, lining up the holes in the bottom of the frame with the holes in our hitch. And we'll then take the hardware we pr prepared and thread it into the bottom of the frame. Once you get one bolt started on each side, the hitch will hold itself up, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. We'll have two bolts that'll go in the bottom of our hitch, and then two bolts that'll go in through the side into the side of the frame. These thread right into the factory weld nuts for each of the bolts. Now, if you're having trouble getting your side bolts to line up, it may be easier to run the hardware down and then get them to thread in because uh, it needs to go up high enough in order for the holes to line up. Tighten down all of our hardware using a 17 millimeter socket. We can then go back and torque our hardware to the specification found in our instructions. We can now lift our exhaust back into position. 
slide the hangers back in place, and remove our strap. We can then put our appearance panels back in place. And then put your pins back in. And that completes our installation of Kurtz Class 2 1 1⁄4 inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Kia Sportage.